Yep, uh, the squad for the Four Nations tournament. Uh, we'll go with the backs first, in alphabetical order. Uh, Ryan Atkins, Tom Briscoe, Kevin Brown, Tony Club, Leroy Cudjo, Darrell Golding, Ryan Hall, Will Robinson, Sam Tompkins, Michael Shenton, and Gareth Widdham. Uh, forwards, again, in alphabetical order, we've got Sam Burgess, Earl Crabtree, Gareth Ellis, Stuart Fielden, James Graham, Daryl Griffin, Ben Harrison, Sean Lunt, Adrian Morley, Sean O'Loughlin, James Roby, Joel Tompkins, and Ben Westwood. Was the captaincy an easy decision? <laughs> um, it was, in my opinion. Um, Adrian's... Uh, is respected on both sides of the world without doubt. You know, I've just had a recent trip across there, uh, and everybody, you know, from players, from media, uh, from officials, everybody across there in Australia, maybe not the disciplinary panel, all speak very, very highly <laughs> of uh, <laughs> of Adrian, and uh, he's held in huge amount of respect across there, and I think that uh, is on both sides of the world because it's exactly the same picture on this side of the world as well. Uh, I spoke to Adrian, uh, very, very disappointed for JP. Uh, Jamie Peacock in terms of, uh, of him not being able to come with us on this tour, but uh, Adrian gets the opportunity now and uh, delighted that he will be uh, decided to take it on board. It's a big responsibility, but what I will say is he will be backed up by a group of senior players who will support him and the rest of the team very well. What does it mean to you, Adrian, to be sat there as uh, England captain? Oh, it's absolutely incredible. Uh, I've been lucky enough to captain. Uh, Great Britain and England in, in one-off games, but to, uh, to captain her on the side is, uh, is uh, it's fantastic. You know, it's a uh, big part of my career. That I know. How many times have you done it before? Uh, just once. Once Great Britain, uh, once England. Were they both France? Uh, Great Britain was France. The, the England game was against Wales. Right. Well, can you tell us your reaction when you got the phone call? <laughs> yeah, obviously ecstatic. Um, and as you can tell, they're all laughing at me there a little bit. <laughs> Running around to do at home, so I'm supposed to be getting married, so that's off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so obviously I'm all in the it's, you know, it's, it's been a childhood dream to represent the country and, and something I felt I couldn't turn down, really, even even with the difficult circumstances. How's that going down? It's, it's been a lot of art to art. You know, talks in bed with each other, and <laughs> there's been a lot of tears. But you know, obviously, you know, that's the reason I'm here. Really, she said that you know, how can you turn down an opportunity to represent your country? And you know, she was she was fully behind me. Obviously, they were she was crying as she was saying it. But yeah, you know, she was supportive and then just said, you know, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. How can you not pass? How can you pass it up? Really? So I won't say it's an easy decision, but <laughs> yeah, it's obviously something I'm thrilled about.